COVID-19 hospitalizations are now up 15% in the last week across our state. Here in El Paso County, hospitalizations are now are not rising as dramatically, and county officials would like to keep it that way. Cardio News Channel 13's Alexis Dominguez joins us live outside UC Health Memorial Central. Alexis. Heather, this week we heard the concern from El Paso County Public Health about the spike in COVID-19 cases over the past two weeks. More hospitals are now preparing in case this trend brings more COVID-19 patients into their hospitals and the ICU. Our COVID-19 trends are once again moving in the wrong direction. As of Wednesday, the state reported 28 new hospital admissions for confirmed COVID-19 up from 18 a week earlier. Here in El Paso County, doctors say it hasn't reached that trend. Despite a bit of a rise in the younger population and some of the older population and spike, we're doing okay. Um, we have maybe a dozen in our hospitals right now here in the southern region. Dr. David Steinbrunner with UC Health Memorial says we had about 54 in those same hospitals back in April. He says the upcoming flu season, along with a rise in COVID-19 cases, have him most concerned about an increase in hospitalizations in El Paso County. If a lot of people aren't taking the vaccine or the vaccine is not effective, then what may happen is that you may get a lot of people hospitalized. And then on top of that, if you had a rise in COVID, that would start to strain the system. As for what age group is getting sick enough to require hospital care, he says it's not necessarily just the older or at risk population. It's not 100%. There are people who are young and seemingly healthy who get a very bad case of COVID and then some who succumb to it despite the fact that they don't have a lot of preconditions. Typically, he says hospital stays are getting shorter and less severe with fewer people on ventilators or in the ICU. Still, he says there is a delay between an increase in cases and any rise in hospitalizations. Dr. Steinbrunner says prevention is really key in making sure people stay protected against COVID-19 and the flu. Reporting live outside UC Health Memorial Central, Alexis Dominguez, Caridio News Channel 13. Yeah,